What's going on today, YouTube? Jason with X Bacon Game, and bringing you a tutorial on how to delid and relid your Intel processor. For me, I went with the 7820X. There it is. Uh, great processor, runs hot. And this is, of course, on the X299 platform. Uh, what you'll need for this tutorial is your processor, uh, your delid tool of choice. I use the Rocket 88 kit. Uh, it's a D-lid and a re-lid. I think I paid $39 for it. Pretty fast shipping. Uh, so uh, I'd recommend this. Uh, you can use the Bowers D-lid Diamate. Um, I was unable to find it anywhere so I went with this in stock everywhere. Um, if you plan on resealing your processor I got this uh, Ultra Blue Advanced Formula Gasket Maker Silicone. I got it from Ace for like, what was it, six bucks? I think it's good up to like 155C, so it works very well. Then you're also going to need your uh, thermal in interface material of choice. I chose liquid metal, uh, it's incredible. You can use any thermal interface material you want, but uh, what I've been seeing in my experience myself, best results have come with liquid metal, um, but it is conductive, so be very careful. And then for removing all the gasket material that came off originally, inside the uh, D-Lid kit, you get this nice big toothpick. Works well for removing the material and it also doesn't scratch the PCB. Uh, so I use this for removal and applying the silicone. Uh, so if you're not aware why you should do this, well, if you know, if you're <laughs> looking at this video, you probably know you need to do it. Um, Skylake, KB Lake, Skylake X, KB Lake X. Um, God, is it all the way back to Haswell? I can't remember exactly when Intel started cheaping out on their thermal interface material. Uh, all of the new uh, AMD Ryzen stuff came come soldered, so um, there's a leg up on us. Uh, but they use this really cheap material that unfortunately causes these processors to run pretty damn hot when overclocking. So... If you're here watching this video, I think you know why you're here watching this video, so I don't think I need to explain that, but um, I will tell you I got some incredible gains, almost 20C in Prime 95, uh, large FFTs for like, yeah, almost 20C I saved, uh, and just straight gaming, I'm probably down 15, uh, so it is an incredible way to do things. Uh, it's going to take some cojones because taking the lid off a brand new processor and voiding your warranty is a little nerve wracking. But unfortunately, they've left us with no other choice. So here it is, guys. Let's do it. All right, guys. Now for the voiceover. I will try to keep my mumbling and ums to a minimum. But there she is, 7820X. If you look at the base of the Rocket 88 kit, there is a triangle. Right, yeah. You're going to want to line up the triangle on your processor as if you were putting it in your motherboard, like so. Then you're going to take the lid and spin the um, thread thumb screw out as far as you can. And uh, place it on the top. Just make sure that little plunger gets pushed all the way back. And take your three retention screws and spin them in. This is only to keep everything in place so uh, they don't have to be crazy tight, just tight. Then you're going to want to grab your Allen key and start spinning. It will feel like you are spinning and you are about to break it, but keep spinning it. Don't worry, it's not going to break. Okay, you will hear and feel the silicone give way, uh, make a little pop. I don't know if you heard it, but uh, you'll feel it. Uh, once you feel and hear it, uh, back off that threaded uh, screw and remove the top. 
I've seen people have trouble once they break the seal getting the IHS off. Uh, mine came off with no issues the second I pulled this off. Maybe. And... Like that. Super easy. So I went ahead and left the bottom, the actual CPU in that whole, um, the tool, uh, just so I don't scratch or break anything. Uh, it actually holds it very well. And there's going to be a lot of scraping coming up, so uh, keeping it, whoops, alright, back in there, yep, mm -hmm. uh, so keeping it in there is nice uh, for scraping it. Uh, using the uh, little uh, or the big uh, wooden toothpick is very nice. That came with the Rocket 88 kit. Uh, doesn't scratch the PCB. Uh, it's nice and sharp, so it will definitely uh, fill your needs for removing all that uh, silicone and adhesive. And fast forward. So I need to caution you guys when doing this to be very careful. There are components on the PCB that can be uh, popped off and they are not very hard to get off. I didn't manage to pop any off, but I've heard of uh, people who have, so just be very careful, especially on this part. Uh, when you're working on the IHS, that's pretty simple, just get after it, but all those little spots between my two fingers that are holding it down, uh, capacitors and stuff like that, just be very freaking careful. Um, Gamers Nexus told us that if you pop one of those or a couple of those off, you might not have killed your uh, CPU, but I'd rather not uh, learn that one the hard way. So a little bit of finesse and, and just uh, get all the black off. Um, I've heard of guys who don't remove any of that and they just replace the material and put it back on, but I figured all the work to get to here, you might as well uh, seal it correctly. So getting it off the IHS, super duper easy. Just get after it. There's quite a ton of it. And, but it comes off fairly easy. Like it's so crusty. No wonder why these things run so damn hot. So, um, like I said, this this process is fairly straightforward and fairly easy as long as you are patient and you take the time to do it correctly and remove all this, uh, you will get great performance and, and great uh, amounts of heat dissipated. Alright, so I've got all the junk removed. Uh, now I'm going to remove the thermal paste. I use just a paper towel, some isopropyl alcohol, and I also use a Q-tip because there's a lot of there's a lot there on the side. I probably could use the toothpick that I used earlier, but yeah, why not? I'm not worried about fibers being left on there at this point because I'm gonna go back over it with the supplied alcohol pad that comes with your cryonaut uh, liquid metal. So I'm just looking to get rid of all the thermal paste and this crusty crap on the side. I still can't believe this is what Intel chose to use. Ugh. Nice and pretty. So. There's the alcohol wipe provided. They give you two, but you're only going to need one. Let it dry. Get rid of all the fibers. And there's the conductor knot. Now, if you're not aware, liquid metal is conductive. So if you get too much on there and you get it over on those capacitors and stuff like that, uh, you could definitely destroy it. I cannot tell you how far a little bit of conductor knot will go. So 
put the smallest dot humanly possible on that and then spread it with the black q-tips that are provided if you see any puddling uh, you have too much I cannot tell you how little amount you can use so I actually had too much on there with that little bit I used uh, so I used the side of the paper uh, the q-tip to soak it up and transfer some over to the IHS it I'm, I cannot stress to you how far a little bit will go uh, I've heard some guys use nail polish to seal all that stuff around the die. Um, I just went super light with the material or with the tim, so um, I don't think it'll drip, and I've had no problems with it since then. But so somehow my camera didn't uh, record me applying the silicone, uh, the blue silicone to the outside of that. Again, use a small amount you're basically just looking to glue it onto the PCB so using the little uh, uh, toothpick I just applied it on the corners and a little beater on the inside and I'm talking a little bit please uh, and everything seemed to work out fine put the relid cap on tighten it down and let it sit for 24 hours Alright guys, so here it is, uh, she's, uh, this was pre delitting uh, 4.6 or 7 uh, overclock, uh, no AVX offset, uh, just straight getting after it, she, <laughs> she's running a little warm, uh, <laughs> so. And next I will show you post D-Lid. Exact same settings and I ran it for an hour longer on Prime after the D-Lid. So here we go. Let's zoom her in maybe, huh? And there we go. Uh, so we're at 20... On average, uh, it absolutely, I think 74 was the hottest I got uh, within that extra hour of running it. Uh, so, delating will definitely pay off. Uh, that's undebatable. So, depends on if you're you know willing to give it a shot and dig into it, but uh, definitely worked very well for me. I've had no issues. I've been running for... Well over a month, uh, so I wanted to give it some time before I made this video, uh, just in case I did jack something up, but nope, everything's running fine. All right, guys, so there it is. Um, I haven't fine-tuned my overclock. That was all down and dirty. Just I wanted to get all this done, so I'm going to delve into that. Uh, but proof is in the pudding. Uh, incredibly cooler than stock, for sure. Um, so it was pretty easy. If you have, like I said, I probably said this before in this video, but if you have the chops to go in there and do it, it will pay off. Just be careful. Go slow. Um, hit me up if you have any questions. Um, I'm sure it's going to be in the comments from the AMD guys that says, just buy AMD, you won't have to deal with this. Yeah, they're right. You probably won't have to deal with this. But um, anyways, uh, thank you guys for taking the time to watch. Um, here's the part where I plead to your inner sensibility. Um, if you're not aware, YouTube has changed its policies on monetizing channels. My channel far exceeds the view time, but I don't have the subscribers, and Mike and I have been trying really hard on this channel. Um, so I'm just gonna ask if you guys like this video, drop a subscribe. I'm not asking you to hit the bell um, because they're getting a lot of us. Uh, I'm not gonna beg, I'm just gonna ask if you guys could. If you liked it, share it, um, and give it a shot. Uh, Delitting while being freaky and scary it actually isn't that bad so again this is jason with x bacon gaming thank you for taking the time to watch and have a great day